The fourth one is nitrogen cycle. This whole nitrogen cycle is all about how nitrogen transforms into different forms in our environment. And if you see, nitrogen is a major constituent of the atmosphere, comprising about 79% of the atmospheric gases. Therefore, it is important to understand how the nitrogen cycle works. One thing which is crucial for the transformation of nitrogen is bacteria. So please remember this, bacteria is the key element in every step of the nitrogen cycle. The nitrogen cycle takes place like this. Overall, there are four steps. Before we begin with the steps, let's get to know a little about nitrogen. Nitrogen is considered as an unreactive gas. Nitrogen gas is formed when two nitrogen atoms bond together. Together, they form a triple bond. In chemistry, you must have heard about single, double and triple covalent bonds. They represent strength between atoms. They are indicted in Lewis structures by drawing two or three lines connecting one atom to another. Double and triple covalent bonds are stronger than single covalent bonds because the amount of energy required to break the bond between two atoms which have triple covalent bonds is incredibly high. The more energy required, the stronger the bond is said to be. In a nutshell, triple bonds are difficult to break because they require a lot of energy to break. Now nitrogen molecules have a triple bond and that makes it very unreactive because it requires a huge amount of energy to break the bonds. Now the big question is, where are you going to find that kind of energy? Once the strong triple bond is broken, nitrogen atoms are very reactive. So the whole meaning of the nitrogen cycle is to break the nitrogen molecules so that it can be utilized by plants and animals. Now the question is how to break the nitrogen molecule. Turns out there is a solution to that. There has to be a way by which nitrogen gas in the atmosphere must find its way into the soil. This is where bacteria in the soil comes into the picture. The roots of these plants are colonized by rhizobium bacteria. These bacteria have the ability to directly convert nitrogen into useful nitrogen compounds with the use of a special enzyme called nitrogenase. In simple words, rhizobium bacteria carry the nitrogen from the air to the soil and transform into another form called nitrates. This process is called nitrogen fixation. Just remember, nitrogen fixation takes unreactive nitrogen from the air and turns into a usable form. After nitrogen fixation, roots of plants absorb the nitrate. In the plant, they are in the form of protein and nucleic acids. If you can recollect the ecological pyramid, in that we have seen that plants are producers and herbivorous animals feed on plants for food and energy. That's how animals get the nitrogen they need by eating plants. When animals produce waste or die, bacteria consumes this dead organic matter. As a result, the nitrogen in this waste is in the form of ammonium. This process is called decomposition or ammonification. Now it is difficult for plants to use ammonium. So this waste ammonium is again broken down by bacteria through a process called nitrification. So basically ammonia is first converted into nitrite and then to nitrate. And now the plants can absorb nitrate. But the nitrogen cycle is all about sending nitrogen back into the atmosphere. This is where denitrification process comes into the picture. In this process, nitrates are converted into a variety of nitrogen gases. So what happens is, soil bacteria use nitrate for their respiration in the place of oxygen in the air because these bacteria are deep under the soil. As a result, gases like nitrogen oxide, nitrogen dioxide or nitrogen are formed. So this is how nitrogen goes back into the air. Among these gases, nitrous oxide, it is a greenhouse gas that can remain in the air for over 100 years. It is also one of the reasons behind depletion of the ozone layer. Anyhow, I hope you have understood what the nitrogen cycle is and please keep in mind that bacteria is the key element in every step of the nitrogen cycle.